just sitting here making coffee listening to the mine activity down the hill. So I was pretty trashed by the time I reached the campground last night. So I was uh, chatty, but less so than usual. Uh, per mustard and sprouts, the people with the dog had to get off trail um, for at least a week because their dog's not doing well. Seems to be kind of a pattern with people that hike with their dogs or try and do the long distance trails with them. And you know, this trail's kind of rough. They also seem to indicate this trail was kicking the crap out of them. So uh, at least I'm not the only one, huh? There is another couple uh, named Veggie and Karma who are about a day, day and a half ahead per the water report um, entries that come in. There's basically a spreadsheet when you update it, they edit it in and you can see what date the comment was made. Worst part of yesterday was actually uh, some plant I got into. It basically has these kind of hollow leaves that stick to whatever material really, really well. And if you're really careful, you can get them out. Unfortunately, because I was moving around, I ended up grinding a couple into my shirt. So it was uh, pretty scratchy. I actually had marks on my arm uh, by the time I took it off at the end of the day. If it seems like I'm less chatty in the uh, last however many videos, it is just because it, it's tiring out here. You know, it takes uh, a lot of energy to get through 15 miles on this versus, you know, something like the PCT. You do a 25 mile day and you're feeling pretty good because you can just zen out. Here, there's been a lot of route finding, a lot of uh, pushing through brush, uh, rivers, things like that. And you just kind of have to be paying attention the entire time. So at least with me, that makes me more tired. The town stops do revitalize me quite a bit. I honestly don't know when the next one of those is going to be. Uh, the next couple of towns look like they're on the smaller end, you know, Alma, for example. And there's a chance I may not be able to get any sort of like a room or a hotel. So I may have to just go charge and push on. So not knowing how many, you know, days, weeks, etc. I'm going to have to go before I get cleaned up and all that. That's that's another thing where I enjoy it. Try, hey, I, I actively avoid towns and all that, but it does wear on you day after day. But hey, after the fact, this will be, have been an amazing adventure. I think that pizza that uh, I was given last night, it was a really nice gesture, but I think it disagreed with me. Okay, 8.30. Didn't feel like I could delay any longer. Still not feeling great, but... Eh, story of my life. I did spend some time trying to look ahead using the guide. As usual, it's a little obtuse as far as the big picture. Uh, however, I do look like I have a couple of 10 plus mile water carries I gotta be a little careful of. And I might have to go out of a few of those earthen tanks that tend to kill my filters. At least the current one is not brand new anymore. It's such a shame <laughs> blocking up a brand, brand new one. I would also swear that the platypus ends up not lasting quite as long as the Sawyer under comparable positions. I've used both of them a bunch. I mean, it's not to the level of the Bee Free, which seems great right out of the box, but then clogs really fast. But uh, Sawyer Squeeze seems to do the best in varied conditions. The next section Looks like it's rated two or three out of five difficulty, as opposed to the last couple of sections that were four. But again, who knows what that equates to. I also saw a note in the water report about Mongolian Baldy. Apparently that section had a bad fire and there's now thousand plus trees down. So not only do you get to post hole, but you're clambering over trees. They actually recommended that that route not be considered a viable hiking route. I had already been leaning towards taking the alt just due to potential snow issues. And that sounded like a better and better idea. Thing is, you know, the overall mileage I have is basically assuming a red line that you can't even do anymore. There's things like Ash Creek, which just say, you know, Closed due to burn. There's the Ash Creek fire bypass. There's the bypasses around that mine tailing pile, which are basically permanent at this point. So I don't know. It's going to be 800 plus miles by the end, but I don't know exactly how much. I am currently around mile 295 per the guide. I've hiked about 
235 since joining the get with the various alts and bypasses and things. I'd really been hoping to get some more days closer to 20 miles than 15, but 15 does finish me towards the end of May, which is decent as far as getting to visit with my parents before the paddle starts. I screw around too much here. Jen's gonna have to pick me up from Albuquerque and I'm gonna be paddling before my feet have even recovered. Just ran into my forest service friend again. He's out surveying the trail. He said there's water at Fry Spring. Per him, if I'd uh, been a week or two later, some of this would have been cleared, I guess, uh, on the other section that I didn't do to come out to Fry Spring. It's uh, pretty obliterated for a while. Okay, well, that is water. Hopefully I can find a little bit of a spigot. Ah, that's better. Mmm, rusty pipe water. Steep and rocky ups and downs, and it's not really clear what's going on. I was following what looked like an improved trail down there and on the far side of the gully, only to realize I was off route. I think this is it. <laughs> so many cow tracks, every direction. I'm generally pretty cautious about water sources out here. This is another example where the water report led me to believe that it wasn't a usable source, but look, I mean, this is easily collectible. <laughs> Somebody doesn't look too happy at me being here. So I've been dragging today, but the other part of it is just uh, putting out here. <laughs> lots and lots of loose rocks. A little bit before five. I did uh, see two hikers a little bit ahead of me just as I got down here. Not close enough to yell out or anything. Pretty sure that's got to be sprout and uh, mustard. I'm trying to do what I can to avoid my feet having issues again. I was getting dust rubbing in between the toes. Folks, no living allowed. So I stopped at Clear Creek, which is the exit point from that really well-graded road. And looks like sprouts and kernel mustard are set up there by the water. I didn't go over, but I uh, filled my water and now I'm just going a little further. Uh, it is pretty out here when I'm not uh, too tired to notice. <laughs> oh, hey, in the cabin. So there have been a few uh, ranches and ATVs around. Just got passed by another one. I assume they're hunting out here, but who knows. And then some gates you just gotta climb. Okay, I think 
this is probably going to work for tonight. And that doesn't suck too much. Home sweet home, and here's hoping tomorrow goes better.